Time for an update with the barn tennis court. Let's get inside. Here we go. Let's turn the light on. And here a year after the first video, and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to see how they built this place, which is obviously phenomenal. And the material again, just to go over real quick, turf with sand on it, which creates a perfect surface for tennis in my mind. It's like a mixture between grass, hard courts, and clay. Grass because the ball bounces low, it's a little bit fast. And hard course because it is a fairly regular bounce and obviously you can slide like clay. So gotta love it. Perfect court here for everything, not just tennis, but the kids are in here and the adults are playing soccer. We're riding our bikes. We're doing jump roping, pretty much anything you wanna do. Before we go in the back and see what updates there are, we gotta check out the rack here with our tennis rackets. But check these out, these are very unique. These are Wilson Juices, and they came out only one season with the 22 and the 24. For a smaller, shorter rackets, this is as good as it gets. Let's check up here. We got our, from the first video, the Head Extreme Pro. Probably Head's best racket, honestly, especially uh, when we talk about power frames. A Minions racket, the Wilson Ultra, 300 grams. Uh, pretty solid, definitely better than the Clash, right? We all know that. Old school Pro Kenix racket. Shout out to uh, Danish standout back in the day, Kenneth Carlson. The Pure Drive, you guys remember that if you've watched the prior video. The Smart Racket, you can kind of hook it up. Just didn't sell well, so they only came out with this one season. I think it was like $350, $400 back in the day for this. Okay, what do we got here? This Sabre, the Sweet Spot Trainer right here. Actually feels like a, a regular racket, but with a 37 square inch head. 300 grams, graphite. And it's quite nice to start a session with this. Just get, get locked in, get your eye on the ball, follow through with the lead arm. Unique uh, training tool here, definitely recommend. If there's some other Scandinavians here, you know what this brand is. It's Hetz one. I didn't even know they made rackets, but they also make the world's worst tennis ball. So it literally feels like you're hitting a rock. We got some uh, T22s, I mean, come on. We're finding treasures here. One of the most comfortable shoes ever made, the Air Max. I mean, this is, this might be the goat shoe of all shoes. Nike, you're putting out trash these days. Just bring these back, please. We know they won't, but whatever. This was a great shoe. I think even Delpo played with them until he uh, he basically couldn't play anymore, but he played with them even when after the Nike stopped producing them. What do we got here in the back? Got a bunch of stuff for the little ones to play. Best t-shirt ever made, and you know it. Got the chill corner here. Parents can sit here and just watch, have some beers, have some wine. There you go. The plan was to get a gym here and they've started gathering some equipment. So this is great. We're gonna get rubber flooring and some more machines in here, but this is a great start. Obviously table tennis. You cannot have a tennis facility. And remember, they wanna kind of make this into a tennis club and you cannot have a tennis club without table tennis. Let's go. So much fun. And we got some more rackets. Let's take a look. Yes, the K-Factor, shout out to Coach Kevin. This actually might be Wilson's best attempt ever. Maybe the N-Pro Open, I think that was right before uh, this one, the N-Pro Open and then, then the K-Factor. Basically, uh, almost a copy of the Pure Drive. They did really good with this job and I don't know what happened to Wilson, but today they cannot make a power frame at all, a comfortable power frame. But this was awesome. What else do we got here? Wow, Graphite Tour. Old school head racket, straight beam. We got a hammer stretch, so an extended racket, 8.2. I mean, it just looks solid. Look at this. Straight beam again. They knew how to make rackets back in the day, Wilson. We got a lot of do-it-yourself stuff here. As you guys can tell, the family really gets involved, does as much work on their own as they can. And actually, the owner of this farm, is this, he's done this, currently working on showers and restrooms for people. So... In the end, guys, we're gonna have gym, obviously table tennis. We're gonna have showers, restrooms. I also heard he's talking about he wants some bunk beds back there for when they have like gathering of juniors, like a weekend practice, they can stay here. So we will be back. And like I said, this family is all about activity and sports and teamwork. They have a barn right across that they have renovated and they're turning that into a house. So that's another project they have for the parents to live there next to the regular house. So how cool is that? You know, they're just doing it different and it's just awesome to see. So the whole family's gonna live on this farm. 
You're also going to have an outside tennis court next to this facility. And that's going to be, uh, that's a future, future project. So once all this inside here is done and completed and the house is completed for the parents, then they have plans of an outside court. So we'll definitely check back with them later on because this project is like perfect. And if you're a tennis player or a tennis nerd like us, this is the place to be, right? So imagine when all this is done, you're gonna have gym, you're gonna have little ones can play, you're gonna have restrooms and changing rooms and showers, you're gonna have beds out here. I mean, you might as well just move in here. That's it for this time, guys. Let us know if you have any questions about this cool tennis farm, I would call it. Well, you'll see in the next video. Take care. Hey! <laughs> <laughs>